sometimes professors think that they're giving you good advice but sometimes it's just not the case and what we're going to do is go into the video and discuss some things that uh, good intentioned professors and teachers may tell you about the field of cybersecurity, but due to their lack of exposure in the field may really not have the uh, right things to say that may give you false uh, interpretations of the field. So let's get into that video. Professors and teachers know a lot of things, but sometimes they may just get it wrong when it comes to cybersecurity, and that could be through a lack of knowledge from not being in the field, which is totally fine, but I want to give my viewers a clear picture of some of the things they may hear that are particularly not true when it comes to cybersecurity and getting into the field. So welcome back to all my subscribers um, that are following and subscribing to the channel. And for those that aren't, I'm Cyber Tom, and my channel is all about cybersecurity, IT education. So if you're interested in that or want to be interested to learn more about it, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you'll get notified on all my new videos. Now, this is just a disclaimer. Professors and teachers are amazing human beings who provide a wealth of knowledge to the next generation. And this is not to, uh, you know, hammer down on them or anything like that. But this is just a educational video where I can explain to you guys that sometimes there are some things that aren't too accurate that you need to look out for so that you can be better prepared. So the first thing I want to go over today is something that I got from professors that I really think was not completely accurate and it may not have been you know um, on purpose but maybe it's just been some ignorance um, and that is going to be that you are not just going to land a job right out of college that for I'd say 90% of the people that's just not the case you could be that person however that gets into the internship the internship loves you and the next thing you know you have a career and that's great but for most people that's just not the case and it's going to take some time when you get out of college to land that position and when i say time i'm sure you want some kind of definition so I'm going to give a broad range here that you should be expecting around four months to about a year around that time frame uh, you should be able to get some kind of position um, whether that be um, cybersecurity specific um, or if that's something more IT related that you could eventually move into security with so how do you get to that spot in your life where you just got your degree and you have the position that you want in cybersecurity. Well, it's going to take some work, obviously. You need to apply um, relentlessly. You can't be applying once a month or a couple times a, uh, a month. I've spoken to numerous people and they've given up on their, their job hopes um, for a degree they just spent so much time and money to get. It's like for what reason and nine times out of ten they just say i was applying but i could not get a job and it's like all right well how much were you applying how many applications were you putting in a week and every time every time they say once a month or once a week or five times a month that's not enough you have to understand the market so the market right now there's a huge gap right so you got a gap between the um the experienced cybersecurity professionals and the entry level. Well, the gap in cybersecurity and why you hear that there is so much work that is not being filled because there's not enough experienced professionals, but there's too much of entry level coming out of college. So you're you're in a in a, a time where you're up you're amongst a lot of people, a lot of applicants. And when it comes to entry level security, the field is, uh, it's full. You know, people want to get into security. The problem is you really have to put yourself above the rest to get yourself to the point where you land that position and eventually become an experienced professional, which is where you really start to blossom. Uh, but you really need to understand the market for who you are coming out of school. 
So apply, apply, apply. You will see a position within a few months. I just felt like one thing that I heard from a lot of professors and mentors was, you know, this facade that I was just going to get out of school and everybody's calling for me like I'm one in a million. Um, it's just not that way. You're going to have to put yourself above the rest of the crowd. And if you're dedicated, you will do it. All right. My second point. This is something that really discouraged me because I would felt like I had worked so hard and I still had to do more. But I remember a point when I realized that just the degree in itself wasn't going to be enough for me in the field that I was going after. Um, and I was really upset by that. And after you studied for, for me, it was five and a half years just to find out that when you're at the end and you're about to get that uh, degree, that you still need to study more. It was pretty hard to swallow. And I, um, you know, was a little taken back by it at first. But I feel like if I was told this by professors from the jump, I would have been more... Um, you know, accepting of the fact that I had to go get a certification, which is my point. A degree alone isn't going to get you the position nine times out of 10. You got to remember you're lacking experience as well. So you're going to have to get yourself a certification. Now, this is something that I was not told for a while. Uh, and once I finally figured it out, I'd already been done college and I was a little disappointed. So to prevent my viewers, my subscribers from that same disappointment, I want to bring you that knowledge now before you get done your degree like I did and then learned that all of a sudden you need to study more. So prepare yourself for that. You should be looking at some kind of certification after you're done your degree or even while you are studying for your degree, if you can handle that, to boost yourself up in the job field. Uh, and it, it kind of sucks. It does. But it's okay because you're learning that now and not at the end of your education, which makes it suck a little bit more. So um, that is just something that I felt like really needs to be shared with you guys and it will give you um, more time to get the certification rather than rushing for a certification like I did after I was done college because I'm trying to get a job. All right, enough of the sad negative stuff, right? Um, the things that you really don't want to hear but you do need to hear. Uh, I got a happy one for you, right? So the third thing that I really feel like I heard a lot of from my professors was that the uh, field was not forgiving, right? That the professional field is not a forgiving one. And that's just not true. Um, the field is forgiving. The field does understand that people don't know all of IT. Um, and you may hear from your professors just as I did that when you get out of college that you're going to, you know, have to be so prepared and so locked down and, and that if you make a mistake, it's going to be the end of your life and all this other nonsense. And, uh, I don't know if that's kind of fear tactics to get you where they want you to be, um, and ready for the world. But either way, as I said, I'm a realist, give it, give it to me the truth give me the truth i don't want to hear any pumped up or pumped down version of the truth so the truth is that the field is forgiving um when you get out there you're going to be able to um fail you're going to be able to make mistakes people are going to still accept you you're going to still have a job and you need to understand that you're never going to be perfect and that if you want to um you know really rise in this field you need to understand that you are not perfect and that you do not have the perfection um that you know you may feel like you need when you're in college so um, get yourself mentally prepared for that. Obviously, we're working in security. That takes a high level of um, ethics. Um, obviously, if you do something that involves some type of ethical infraction, then yeah, you can expect for there to be no forgiveness on that. And that should be expected. We are held to a higher moral level because of the position that we work in and the data that we see. Um, so obviously that goes without saying, but from day to day, you will be, um, given leverage, uh, especially as somebody out of college to make mistakes, to learn. You can never, you, we can't learn as human beings if we're not making mistakes. 
um, if we're not, you know, realizing that we still have more to learn in this area or that area. Uh, and that's something that I felt highly pressured about in college that, you know, that I needed to just have it all together when I got out of school. And that was something that weighed on my shoulders. And I really feel like it needs to be, you know, expressed uh, to the world that you don't really have to be that way to get into IT. Um, IT's fun, man. There's a lot of great guys in IT. I've met um, some great friends uh, and some great people. And guess what? They've had, they have 10, 15, 20 years of experience and they still mess up because we all do. So uh, give yourself a break. Don't get too down on yourself about that. Um, and that will do it for this video. I hope that I brought to you some really good knowledge of things that you may hear from your professors that um, just may not be true. And this is not an attack on professors at all. I love teachers, as I said. Uh, I just to inform my subscribers and those people that are just viewing the channel um, interested in cybersecurity that there are some things that you may hear in college that aren't necessarily true. True once you get into the field guys thanks for watching um, you guys are amazing and I'm truly grateful for all of you uh, subscribers and non subscribers and if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing um, we have a lot of fun here uh, I recently added a join um, membership button where you guys can get uh, access to some one-on-one -on -one career coaching with me through discord um, also some badges some cool emojis and a lot of other perks in there as well so check it out um, in my page you'll see a button that says join and you can choose the membership that's right for you so um, that's a great addition and I'm going to be doing some more live soon I haven't done any I think actually yet um, so we're reverse let's not say more lives let's say i'm going to start doing lives and um i really hope that i can really answer a lot of questions in those lives and uh really connect with you guys more because i really do want to help um all my viewers get to the next level in their career that's the whole point of this channel and that's why i'm here so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video